मॉर्निंग टू एचओडी प्रोफेसर मिस्टर ए के चतुर्वेदी सर सेमिनार कोऑर्डिनेटर मिस्टर डीपी शर्मा सर माय गाइड मिस्टर राजन करी सर द एग्जामिनर्स एंड माय फेलो क्लासमेट आई एम तुषार भारद्वाज स्टूडेंट ऑफ गेट सेमेस्टर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट यूनिवर्सिटी डिपार्टमेंट राजस्थान टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड टुडे आई एम हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू गिव अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ फ्यूचर ऑफ मिलिट्री टेक्नोलॉजी एंड हाउ इंडिया इज ओपन अप विद द वर्ल्ड अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ मिस्टर राजन करी सर so in this slide let me give you a brief introduction on the topic with the changing power dynamics around the world and new axis of power emerging a multipolar world is inevitable how can india match even the, and even outperform others in the race for new military technologies and global dominance if it wants to get such much deserved position as a superpower india should look at what others are doing and make counter strategies uh, technologies and doctrines Being a developing nation, our resources are limited, and we need to find the best options to invest in so that we can safeguard our national as well as overseas defense goals. Examining all of that was the aim of mine. Let us see what the global trends are in weapon uh, in weapons technologies. As expected, smart AI-enabled equipment is the talk of the town. Research on the use of artificial intelligence in smart precision munitions. Battlefield management systems, communications is rampant. Autonomous drones, robotic mules for carrying supplies and in, and the injured are also being looked at precariously. Exoskeletons would shape the new generation of super soldiers. Now coming to the strategic technologies, hypersonic missiles and hypersonic missile defense systems are hot fields. laser and other dedicated energy weapons in anti personnel anti satellite anti drone or anti ship roles are also being researched cyber warfare is on a rise and new types of viruses are being developed on a national level many nations are setting up dedicated cyber commands to harm the enemy and defend themselves additive manufacturing especially 3d printing is finding its way in defense manufacturing aerospace gears aerospace parts rocket engine parts can be printed with great precision and low cost without the need for setting up bulky and expensive facilities quantum computing will redefine our technologies because problems too difficult to be solved by current generation of supercomputers can be solved using quantum computers and countries that possess them will have an edge over the others 5G communication is another crucial field because it will enable super fast connection allowing for interconnected devices using IoT algorithms for smarter battlefield management and information transfer blockchain blockchain technology will also find its use not only in cryptocurrencies but in state safe storage of confidential data and cyber security countries are also trying to make space weapons especially directed directed energy weapons placed on satellites to protect it from missile based anti satellite systems or to attack air, attack aircraft and other ground systems of the enemies rail guns which allow for projectiles to be shot at hypersonic missile velocities without using gunpowder will be game changer for naval warfare and artillery lithium lithium ion battery powered electric submarines are quieter and more lethal than conventional submarines and hence are are uh, attracting a lot of research the next is the present and future threats to india the threats can be classified into several categories like hostile governments terrorism proliferation cyber threats and natural disaster hostile governments in our case are basically china and pakistan Ter terrorism is used by countries like pakistan for their national goals which needs to be countered by india cyber threats are a big challenge for our government as it is not prepared enough for cyber attacks even if india has the best talent pool in software technology now we shall now take a look at what the united states army and chinese pla are doing to get an edge over the threats in the future over their adversaries the united states military is working on things like hypersonics direct energy weapons renewable energy generation and safe financial technology the efforts for human machine interfacing are also high quantum computing uh and advanced autonomous ro ro robotic robotics are also uh being researched the application of internet of things on uh, battlefield connected soldiers and equipment is also a hot area china has a military civilian fusion strategy in which it aims to fuse its economic social uh, security and uh, develop strategies to build an integrated national security system 
Now, these are some of the projects that India is working on currently. Uh, AMCA or Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft is the fifth generation fighter program of India which will have as many as uh, uh, 5.5 and 6 generation technologies. It will put us in a powerful position against Chinese and Pakistanis. There are various 4.5 gen fighter aircraft programs under development as well as uh, for example like Tejas Mark 1, Medium Weight Fighter, Omni Roll Combat Fighter, uh, Twin uh, Engine Based Deck Based Fighter. Combat team in drones like HAL CATS for year will greatly enhance the capability of our pilots uh, by working as unmanned wingmen. Indian multi role helicopter will replace the Russian origin medium lift helicopters like MI 17 in our inventory and prove to be a more reliable and modular partner of our soldiers. The most uh, uh, various versions of it are under development like an extended range world and a lighter air launch version and a hypersonic Mark II version. Uh, the next is S5 class nuclear ballistic missile submarines and P75I conventional sub submarines. Then comes the Indian aircraft carrier too, uh, also codenamed as INS Vishal. Other projects include a 125 Newton Newton class jet engine for our upcoming fighter jets, future infantry combat vehicle, and future uh, ready combat vehicles are the programs for our infantry tanks and uh, infantry combat vehicles. So now we will see what role will the organizations like DRDO and the private sector play. So let's see. The, the, the DRDO is working on very crucial technologies and it will keep doing so as it has been doing since its inception. It will develop high rate technologies for our services and the private sector will initially take the job of manufacturing them. As it gains experience, it can start making its own designs and start competing with the public sector organizations for defense contracts increasing the competition among them and giving cutting edge technology to our services. This will enhance the technological progress of, in the country and make us a net defense exporter. The areas where we lack can be listed as follows. The lack of quality education, low privatization in the defense industry, lack of experience of the world wars, financial problems in the investment in R&D sector, Lack of accountability of public sector units like VDL, HAL, and the uh, Ordnance Factory Board, which has been diluted now. Excess bureaucracy at all levels. In my con concluding remarks, I'd like to say that a lot needs to be done, and a lot is being done. Private sector needs to be nurtured, and PSUs like DRDO, HAL, etc., need to match their promised timelines. Import dependencies should be reduced, Bureauc bureaucracy should be reduced. A proper cyber command should be set up quickly and brain drain, brain drain of smart individuals should be stopped. So I'd like to ask if there are any questions. Yes, you mentioned AMCA. What is AMCA? Yes, so the AMCA is an advanced medium combat aircraft. It is an Indian program to develop a stealth multi-role air security fighter for the Indian Air Force and maybe the Indian Navy as well which will include some 6th generation niche technologies. After India stepping out of the Russian FGFA program, AMCA has become the only 5th generation program from the Indian Air Force. 